so much. The next Treasury payout is set for Thursday, February 2nd. The release of long-awaited 12.1, Sentinel, is set for Sunday, February 5th. I have clarification on the Apple Jacks issue. Yes, I said the Apple Jacks issue. And Dash is set to be integrated into a major exchange with a fiat trading pair. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching this episode of Dash Detailed as filmed in a Nevada motel room. Let's get started with development updates. Many have understandably asked, how will I know how to upgrade to 12.1 come Sunday, February 5th? Dash's quality assurance manager, Holger Schinzel, recommends that although a guide may be published on that day, we all ought to just hang out at the Dash underscore support underscore desk channel in the Dash Nation Slack. So if you're available, feel free to pull up a chair, pour yourself a beer, and join the support group so that everyone may climb the mountain together. In other development news, Trezor has released full support for Dash. Now, Dash could be used before on the Trezor via the Electrum Dash wallet, but it couldn't be used on Trezor's uber popular web app. That is no longer the case. So for those with a Trezor or who plan to be owners of one soon, you'll find that visiting wallet.trezor.io will give you full accessibility to the Dash stored on your device. And in other development updates, Dash developer Snogcell has announced that the popular BitPay wallet called Copay is now being tested for Dash on the Dash testnet. Now the Copay wallet supports hierarchical deterministic address generation. Ugh. A lot of words to say that only one seed is needed to back up all the addresses that one might generate in the future, which is handy. Copay also supports multi-signature addresses, which means if you would like to have an account whose funds can only be controlled by the express consent of multiple parties, that will also be available. Snogcell reports that if Copay Dash goes well on testnet, its first public release will be a Chrome extension, and that after that, other platforms can be supported in time. Now let's check out the price movement. At the time of recording, the Dash to Dollar price has been and still is flirting with the $16 range. This makes for a market capitalization of 114 million US dollars. This is with just over 7 million Dash in existence and a 24 hour trade volume of $1.4 million. In our seven day market cap chart, we will see a substantial increase of 14%. Our three-month market cap chart shows a roughly 200% increase. And of course, the context for all of this is Dash's three-year lifetime market cap chart seen here. Zero to 115 million in only three years. Catchy, right? Now to business news. What is the deal with the highly upvoted post on the front page of the Dash subreddit about Apple approving the addition of Dash? Well, after much confusion, some rejoicing, and some tears, Jack's founder, Anthony DiOrio, shed light on the subject with a comment. According to DiOrio, several months ago, Apple said that they would approve Dash in the next submitted version of the Jack's wallet. However, at this time, Jax had decided to do a complete overhaul of its architecture to improve the speed of its software. For that reason, Diorio made no announcements so as not to get anyone's hopes up, as the JAX re-architecture was set to be several months out at the time. Now, Diorio says, if all goes as planned, the re-architecture will be submitted to the iOS App Store in about three weeks' time, with Dash included. So is this reason to celebrate? It's hard to tell because only a few days ago, Slack community member iOS Dev submitted his own version of a Dash wallet to the App Store and was soundly rejected, as his screenshot here shows. So either way, approval or continuing disapproval, only time will tell. In other business news, the online exchange Bidilicious sells Dash for credit and debit card purchases as well as other types, though only if one happens to reside in the UK. And speaking of exchanges, that brings us to this major exchange buzz you might have heard about with regard to a Dash integration. 
Now, details on the integration are scarce, as the exchange in question has asked that their identity not be revealed until they are ready to make a press release announcement at a strategic time. The Treasury proposal to fund the integration has been approved. The proposal also mentions that the exchange will be looking into the enabling of instant send for both deposits and withdrawals. The launch of the trading is set for the end of either first quarter or beginning of second, and you can learn more about it in this video that YouTuber Tech Knowledge made about it. Now to Dash in the news. Dash has gotten what may be its first mention in the news arm of Shapeshift in a place called CoinCap. Writer Michael covered the basics of evolution with quotes from director of finance Ryan Taylor as well as lead developer Evan Duffield. In other media, Anthony at Altcoin XP got his new YouTube channel kicked off with an explainer of Dash. Anthony gave such a clear, thorough, and detailed overview of Dash that I feared for my job. Well done! Over at Brave New Coin, writer Rupert Hackett gave an overview of Dash's masternode and collateral system. And at Cointelegraph, Dash community member Joel Valenzuela interviewed former Dash contractor John Bush about his push to get 100 Dash accepting merchants in 100 days. On the Amanda B. Johnson front, I had the opportunity to speak to YouTuber Crypto in my first live interview ever, as well as to speak to Kenneth of Crush the Street. Crush the Street is a subscription-based investor newsletter of decidedly non-crypto specialists. Now to network statistics. Today's masternode count is 4,277. To put that into context, here is the lifetime masternode count chart. There are roughly 550 non-masternode full nodes open on the network, which gives us a total count of 4,831 full nodes. Today's hash rate is 2.05 terahashes per second, which is down from last week. For context, here is our three-month chart, our year-long hash rate chart, and our lifetime hash rate chart. Little heads up for you that sometime on February 4th at block 630,720, we will have our annual decrease of inflation. This means that Dash's block reward, that is, the rewards to miners, masternodes, and the available treasury, will decrease by 7.14% to be precise. And as an interesting little fun fact for you, the February super block, that is the February treasury payout, has supported a new all-time high of proposals, 22. The former all-time high came in September of 2016, when 20 proposals had passed. And finally, in social happenings. There are three new What is Dash videos from three new different and pretty girls. One is in Brazilian Portuguese, another is in Dutch, and yet another is in Polish. This outreach is being headed up by community member Alex RU with the assistance of community member Studios. You can find these three pretty girls as well as several other pretty girls giving the What is Dash video in several other languages in the international section on the Dash YouTube homepage. It's at the bottom. In other social happenings, I have recently been late to join the party in finding the joy that is listen.masternode.io. This Dash version of BitListen was created by Dash Core developer Ujin M6 and plays a tone every time a Dash transaction takes place or a block is found. In other social happenings, our comment of the week is from Dash Core member Tungfa. There was a discussion going on in Slack at the time over whether a former multi-month treasury payout should have gone on as long as it did. Tungfa said, I can only encourage all masternode holders to vote and change votes if they feel appropriate. That is the power of the Dash system and it should be used. Well said. And lastly, in social happenings, you may have noticed that the Dash YouTube channel has broken 6,000 subscribers. Yay for everyone. That's it for Dash Detailed this week. 
For your information, we have added a little how to dash section at dashdetail.com where you'll see quick references of how to buy Dash, how to accept it, what wallet to use, and what are the debit cards that support Dash again? You can find it at dashdetail.com slash how to Dash. All right, folks, see you next Wednesday.